new uh, sand hills. I built a broiler barn here. And there's the front office. And in here is a beautiful system that looked like it dropped out of heaven because this is a heavenly environment for these birds. On planet Earth, the bird will think I'm in he bird heaven. There's nothing better. Don't get better than this. It's like the Dixie Chicks. It don't get better than this. It don't get better than this. When the reflector ray comes in, it don't get better than this, boys. Now there, because there's the sun. That thing is just planet on Earth in a building. If you could have the sun on Earth in the right temperature, everything would be perfect. We get this system to make an absolute perfect temperature so that whatever temperature you need, wherever you look or put a gun to, it's the right temperature. Universal, same temperature, one to half to three quarter D to one degree difference at the very most. Everything's the same because that pipe is aluminum steel. It's not black steel that drops the heat and scorches it right here. We're trying to spread it way down. So everywhere you walk down there with a gun is one to half to one degree difference as you walk down there. And if you do the concrete support there, you're gonna find it the same temperature as the floor and the wall, everything's the same. So what happens here, you have a temperature of 600, 900 degrees. You put the first shiny pipe is insulated, drops the temperature of 300, 400 degrees. So you save the heat. There's a fan way down there. You can see that in the middle. It sucks it. It sucks it. It draws. You can spit, suck spaghetti better than, than push it. And in a milkshake, you won't get very far pushing it but you can suck up the milkshake right into and have a good milkshake. That's what we do here, we suck this system, okay? It's a vacuum. But then it causes that heat to move down that tube, it's a three and a half inch tube. The surface heats up, the flame is about, see that hot spot down there? That's the hot spot. In a pusher, it's five feet, that hot spot. So there the flame stretches out that far. That's your hottest part, but it never touches inside of the pipe because there's a swirler in there, a spinner plate. Anyway, it goes down, so you have 400 degrees, maybe 500 of that T and 600 here. A 100 degree difference, cement doesn't know the difference when you have rays at that frequency or that uh, temperature creates the ray, same ray that absorbs equally into concrete or mass. That's why it heats everything up. And in here, this is called everything heating. A bird needs no chill. You're bringing 40 degree air there in the middle of winter. You shoot it right over the top. You have a preheater. That tube is hotter. It's about 240, 50 degrees on top. And that's certified to go in and it cleans good. They're gonna have a, uh, see there is over there, you've got your uh, air, air movers and it really moves the air around gently. Maybe you don't have to move it Right away, the first four weeks, three weeks, uh, five, four days, you may not even put them on in the cold weather. But at least you'll have heat. Most other heats, you need to put them on from day one and have a breeze when you don't want a breeze the first week. But here, this is the ideal system on planet Earth. We got a two bird bike barns at, at the Thorington, a new, a new city over there, and then also uh, Lone